What's up guys, Shuri here, and today I want you to give me a chance. I'll explain to you how Iris and Christina are the two best heroes to go with any other hero in the game, and I'll explain to you exactly how, and if you give me like five minutes into this video, I think I can convince you to watch the rest of the video and be able to do this comp very successfully. So please give this a chance. Okay guys, so if you're not good at Iris or Christina, it's okay. You can play almost any character with this comp and it will do good. And oddly enough, Jabali might be the best third for it. So if you like to play Hunter or any Sniper or just any damage character or even an aggro character. And after I show you a few different things, at the end I'll teach you why everything does what it does and how to do it. But first, I want to try to convince you, this is really insane. So I'm going to time exactly from when I throw my first ball to killing this victor. And it went so fast, I have to slow it down. But the way we're doing this is we're shooting and throwing our sticker grenades at the same time. We completely kill this victor within two seconds. And it's not a one-time fluke. This is killing two people at once, and even faster of a time, because remember, this character does AoE damage, area on effect, so I can kill multiple people at once as they try to get my healer, or whatever my other teammate needs to be, and this is the least damage version of this comp, just so you know. And please guys, like and subscribe and share this video. I spent eight hours working on this, so I would really appreciate you guys supporting it. But this works at even the highest ratings. And don't worry, I am going to go over three separate teams that you can use, how to use them, and then at the end, I'm going to go over a little crash course on Christina. Also, like the video. If it gets 100 likes, I'll make an entire separate Christina tutorial that teaches you how to shoot off walls and just do a ton of cool stuff. But like I said, if you're not good at Christina, that's okay. You can play as either the Iris, which all you really got to do is continuously put the pie butt up, or play any other character, really, because everything works with this. So this is a comp for everyone. Right there, we do end up going around to go ahead and get that Aletta. And with this comp, there's a lot of different techniques to use, but one really good one when you're using the Hunter is getting him to launch people back and while they're off their feet, shooting balls at where they're going to land. Because even if you miss, you can hit walls around them and it'll bounce back into them. Or if you throw the sticky grenades and then your hunter knocks them back into it, it kills them every time. Another really cool thing is being level 10 with this lets you do an extra 560 damage. And it ends up being over 600 once you factor in the pie bot. So we're talking absolute absurd amounts of damage, and the best part is, the way you do this is having the heals on you. And so you're always getting healed, and as long as you're jumping around and kind of being a little mobile, you can do a lot with this character and live. Another great tactic is to stack three sticky bombs on the outside of a door to where people can't see it, but when they run past it, it blows the first bomb up, which then blows all of them up. Another really fun thing with Christina is hitting different geometry angles. And right there, we do hit the corner of the door, which throws it into the corner where he thought he was safe. And then we're just going to keep doing the same thing until we find another angle and get that kill. And as you can see, these guys are in the 1500s. And just so you know, this isn't some like elite squad that I practice with all the time. But instead, it's actually one of my most loyal and amazing subscribers, Instant Ghost, who was the first time I had ever played with him. And we also didn't use mics. It was his idea to use this combo, and oh my god, was he right. But I added my own little flair to it, which is adding a Jabali to the mix. The reason for that is Jabali's passive gives you 14% extra damage if you're next to him. And then if you just throw the Iris heals onto that Jabali, it gives everyone within the circle of the Jabali 
24% extra damage done. And the Jabali takes a lot of heals. He can then also shield me from damage and then also reflect if need be. And then you also have the 560 damage that you get from your incendiary rounds. And then this guy is also providing all that bonus damage. You're hitting for over 4,000 per direct hit. And not just that, Remember what I was showing you earlier with just me and Iris together? That didn't have extra bonus damage from Jabali. But with the Jabali, you can shoot and throw your sticky bomb at the same time and do what I did there and one-shot people. Yes, you heard that right. You can one-shot people because of the sticky bomb and shot glitch, which I will show you how to do at the end of the video. Do not worry. And again, please like, subscribe, and share this to others to spread the word. I don't mind spending time to make really good videos and bring you guys all the best info as soon as I know it. But if you don't mind subscribing and liking the video to help me in the YouTube algorithm, I would really appreciate that. And remember guys, we have two more comps left in this video and then I'm going to show you three different techniques and strategies that you can use that are really important to make this work. So make sure at the very least you skip ahead to that part because without that it is going to be a lot harder than you think and it's important to me that you get the important information. So I will label everything so you guys could skip ahead if you need to and if you're not the person playing Christina on your team just go ahead and tell the Christina hey the, these are the important bits. And shout out to my boy Trevor who helped me with this version of the comp. And if you guys ever like to go on Reddit, I'll post in the pinned comment his Reddit threads. He makes a ton of good ones. So what we're going to do right off the bat is throw all three sticky grenades where they'll jump up into them. But what we also do is once we hit a direct hit on bottom, we're going to bounce the balls down there off of the little shelf we're standing on. That way we actually have more cover, but it still gets them. As you can see, we still ended up hitting them with it. But we have to be very careful because they have a Vincent and that is terrible. Terrifying. The guy can one-shot us. Luckily, we have a uh, Christina, which is very good against Vincent. And reason number two that this combo is so good is it absolutely destroys Aletta's and almost every flanker. Right here, we're going to pin him down in our trap, and then we're going to jump back and then just hit him with a nice direct hit. And then I have both of my irises next to- wait, both irises- oh no, that's Vincent! Yeah, that's pretty much how my entire brain is in every single one of these games with Vincent when I see two teammates that are the same character, but you have a leg up on this because only your Iris actually has heals coming off of them or heals coming from you to him. So it's really easy to figure out which one isn't on your team. And all you have to do is throw down your sticky grenades and you're good to go. And we know the Aletta's coming from up top because we saw him go up the lift. We want to have our uh, sticky grenades in proximity to be able to stop him whenever he jumps down. But also we have to save them to make sure that we have them for Vincent because that is by far the priority. If he gets close to us in disguise, what we can do is we can hit him with one of our proximity grenades, which will actually knock him out of his disguise and make it where he can attack for another two seconds, giving us the ability to get away and live. And one thing, especially if you're playing a team with one or more aggro players, especially if they're really annoying, keep at least two sticky grenades where your healer can get to them. And there are some exceptions, which I'll go over later in this video, showing you where you can set up one-shot kill traps on different maps. But for the most part, you want to have that trap near where your uh, healer is, or you can just throw two to three on the ground, let your healer know they're right there, and that way he can run people over them and then end up keeping himself safe. Because if he dies, the pie bot goes away, you lose that 10% damage and your heals. So it's all important to make sure that your teammate is alive, that Iris is key, so make sure that you give him all the support he needs. And the great news about having your sticky grenades on the ground is they can regen in your pocket, and if they blow them up on the ground, you can then 
use your shooting and throwing sticky grenades at the same time to double up on that damage just like we did there and we're using the hunter sonar balls to be able to find people which is really really useful on this map in particular because of the fact that it's kind of smaller but it's also big enough that you don't know where everyone's at there's little nooks and crannies everywhere and that's what makes it really dangerous and with the sonar balls of the hunter i know where they're at and you can bounce your Christina's balls off of it, pretty much anything and everything to the point that you can hit almost anyone anywhere, especially on this map that has so many solid angles that bounce off each other. This is the perfect map for Christina Hunter to just absolutely abuse the knowledge that Hunter gives you and the ability of your Christina to actually hit those shots. Another thing, if you ever see a shell teleporting with the first ult, just go ahead and start throwing your sticky bombs onto that ult because if they teleport in, they automatically die. If they don't teleport in, then they wasted their ult. And no, that Scotty did not waste their ult. Holy crap, he hit me through two walls. But we're going to push out and we're going to hit all of our ult and trap three of them. We're going to get them low as well, which did help our teammates end up capitalizing on it. But then we spawn. We're going to go ahead and kill the Sindri right off the bat. And then right here, I need to drop down because the Sindri hit ult. So I am going to throw up two of my sticky bombs up top. And now I'm just going to try to bounce off the top. But if you actually see what happened here, this was the craziest ramp ever. So I hit the guy on a right angle bounce, but right here, I throw this, it hits the stair, and then it bounces up into the open space on that left side. And then I'm going to hit the edge of the stairs, and as he's dropping down, it hits him again. I swear to God, this is like playing skee-ball. You can go back and rewind it and see what happened. I hit the stairs, it ramped up on the stairs into the open space, and then when he jumped down, the stair ramped it exactly to where he was jumping down. That's just absolutely crazy. And um, again, you can replay it if you want. Uh, I know I did, a bunch. And now I'll explain some of the mechanics and really important techniques. But guys, please like, subscribe, and share this video. It really helps me out. I've spent many, many hours editing and recording this. Please, please do that for me. Okay, so as I showed you earlier, this is without a Jabali. This is just having the Iris help you. And if you look, you can even see the hunter in our spawn. He did not help us, and he was not over there to help us. And same thing here, he's dead. And don't get me wrong, the hunter's doing a fine job. It's me just saying it is all the damage from Christina alone. And right here is where it becomes a skill thing and strategy. So our Iris is getting Getting screwed by two people and I want him to run to the heel and I'm gonna throw my sticky grenades between the two people tagging him and the actual heel on the map so the people can choose to either go after him and get blown up by my bombs and then shot by me as well or they can recognize that I'm throwing these sticky bombs down and they can't go there and so it's kind of like a shield wall in a way that they can choose to go through it and die just like this Waling did. But a lot of people are going to notice what you're doing and they're going to back up. And that is the whole point. I'm throwing these because they're a letta hit the ult and I want to keep him from getting to my guys and killing them. So I throw those bombs down to kind of keep a separation wall between my teammates and that Aletta. Luckily, my hunter was able to kill him. And another cool technique is if you have someone on the other side of a wall that can't see you, you can throw in two sticky grenades at an angle and then they'll blow up. So when you jump in, you can actually jump up and then shoot and never get seen by them or hurt by them and just get an absolute free kill. Right here, we are screwed because of the Walling's ult. So what I'm going to do, knowing the Yaw's coming, I'm going to throw all three bombs into a wall and place it behind me. So if a Yaw dashes in, he's going to automatically die, which is exactly what happened. And right here, I am just shooting and trying to get everyone low as possible, but I wasn't paying attention to my ammo and ran out. But if you run out of ammo, you can still throw your sticky grenades. 
the shell actually realized what I was doing and ran away while it was stuck to his head. And it was really neat to see that it looks like a planet on top of his head that explodes into a dragon. <laughs> but this one's one of the most important ones and you might not even know what I did. So I got feathered and I'm immediately throwing a sticky grenade on my nearest teammate. And the reason I did that was so he could run the walling into it and explode it if he needed the extra damage, and it ended up getting the kill. And another cool thing is that you can throw on the inside of these doorways three bombs to where you can't see them from the outside to shoot them, and you pretty much have to go in there and kill them, or you have to have someone who can do AoE damage. But the thing is, you will have a lot of people just go through that door and die over and over and these people are in the thousands of trophies i mean we have a 1400 hunter a thousand iris and then whatever my guys at so it wasn't like these were really low players and if they decide not to go through that center lane that means they can only come through the other two lanes and we completely guard one side without ever having to commit a player's attention and right here, I am going to talk to you about playing Pong on the original Atari. Yeah, that basically just means I'm old. But yeah, you just want to throw things off walls, basically. And that one we threw over a wall from across the map. And if you guys want, give this video a hundred likes. Share it to your friends to make sure it gets there. Please subscribe. I told you I've spent so many hours on this video. And I'm happy to do it. And if you want a Christina video i will make a christina tutorial look at these crisp shots i mean i got it right through the corner and yes guys that told me someone was down there because that actually hit somebody and that's how i knew to bounce it off that wall and kill them right there we know to shoot over that little center divider because they can't hit me but i can launch my bombs over it and hit them so it's just free kills Right here, we're gonna try to go ahead and get this yaw into a trap. We do get him low, and we finally do end up getting that kill. And that is where we're on our last section, guys. This is about how important the traps are, and especially if you want to play with something like a Walling. Shout out to the Hunter for switching Walling to help me with this part of the video. But basically what we're doing is we're trying to get as many people trapped as possible and then just let our Walling have a field day. And if you prefer to have an Osos on your team, the Walling, it doesn't really matter as long as the Christina is getting them to be stabilized with the traps then your sniper can hit them quickly. That's all that really matters. Right here, as you saw, our Walling got two easy kills on the trap people, and then he killed the third one just by being an insane Walling and saved my life. So it's a really good team effort. Basically, the Christina's gonna do everything they can to keep the pressure off the Iris and save the Iris. And then the Walling is gonna try to save the Christina. And that's what makes this team work so well. The Christina makes sure the Iris stays alive to keep the heals up and the extra 10% damage buff on at all times. And then the third person's job is to make sure that once the Christina hits those first few shots, that they're going in to help clean up those kills and if need be backtrack and help take care of the Iris because the Iris is the most important thing by far. And then everything after that is just about trying to get the kills without losing your life. And that's why things like Johnny Jet, Aleta can be really nice in that. But I definitely would recommend going for the Jabali. With this combo, a Jabali gives your Christina the ability to one shot, which is just absolutely nuts. And if you guys want a Christina tutorial, just make sure this video gets to 100 likes and I'll make that thing for you. Please subscribe and share this video around. I'd really appreciate it. And I hope you all have a great day.